the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 60 Deuteronomy 5-6 to Teach them to your children, listening and asking questions. Again, stressing the commands God gave on Mount Sinai, Moses honestly asked them to love God. First point. God repeats the same thing he said 40 years ago. Moses first went over educating the Mana generation in the past 40 years in the desert, focusing on the covenant they made with God. God emphasized that this covenant was equally between them and God. In Exodus chapter 19, God told the people whilst making a covenant with them that this covenant would be applicable to all the generations that followed. Second point, the way to educate your children, make them listen and allow them to ask questions. Despite living with parents who disobeyed God for 40 years, the Mana generation did not follow in the footsteps of their parents, but later followed Moses' teaching of God's laws. And so, Moses taught the Mana generation to teach what they learned to their children. Moses furthermore told them to encourage any questions that their children might ask. In the future, when your son asks you what is the meaning of the stipulations, decrees and laws the Lord our God has commanded you, tell him, we were slaves of Pharaoh in Egypt, but the Lord brought us out of Egypt with a mighty hand. As such, parents today should also teach the Bible to their children and also encourage any questions that their children may have concerning the word. Third point, beyond reaping what you sow. God enables humans to reap more than they have sown. God said to the Israel nation, When the Lord your God brings you into the land, He swore to your fathers, to Abraham, Isaac and Jacob to give you a land with large, flourishing cities you did not build, houses filled with all kinds of good things you did not provide, whilst you did not dig, and vineyards and olive groves you did not plant. Then when you eat and are satisfied, be careful that you do not forget the Lord who brought you out of Egypt, out of the land of slavery. From creation, God enabled humans to reap by reaping what they sowed. Humans were able to walk for six days out of seven and then rest on the seventh. If humans followed the law of lasting on the seventh day, God promised that they would be able to reap more than they have sown. Fourth point, a way to live a blessed life, not to turn aside to the left or right. God is one who blesses. God's plan from the beginning was to bless all nations. The way to be blessed is written in Deuteronomy 5 verses 32 and 33. So be careful to do what the Lord your God has commanded you. Do not turn aside to the right or to the left. Walk in obedience to all that the Lord your God has commanded you, so that you may live and prosper and prolong your days in the land that you will possess. Fifth point, Moses' request to love God as Abraham and Isaac did. God asked the Mana generation to love God as Abraham and Isaac did. Abraham and Isaac had a profound love for one another as a father and son. 
but beyond that, they had an even more profound love for God. They even showed God through Isaac's life how much they loved him. They were able to fully away because they loved God. Loving God is a crucial law in a kingdom of priests. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones the Tongdok Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people, just a handful of people in the world understand the way Dr. Zhou does, the way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation, one story. And what does it mean for us to daily live that story as our life story? And he has found a way to do this. We need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in, in the Word of God. And that's why a, a, a Tom Doc Bible is so important. The scriptures, the story, Genesis to Revelation, is the daily mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit of God into humans to make us truly who God made us to be. And that's why this app is so important. This app shows you how to do mouth, that God, enables God to do mouth to mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life, 365 days a year. I'm so glad you have it. You will feel that healing that comes from mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit on you as you use this app.